My name is Patrick Miller. I teach 7th and 8th grade math at Countryside Elementary School in the Cambridge Academy. The instructional approach is essentially 100% technology. In effect, the, the classroom is paperless, uh, the exception being assessments. Uh, the students ultimately are preparing for a, a paper assessment, which is the Cambridge exam. You know, so at the beginning of class, they, they get up some basic things. They get up my website, <clears throat> which is the Cambridge website. They access two or three or four different things from there. Um, they also open up their website, which is through their school email. They've all created their own Cambridge websites with each class. Um, so their website is used as an organization tool for all of their information, um, notes, test results, and essentially what happens is in, in the first couple of minutes everything kind of gets up and running and then once everything is on their device with multiple tabs from there they can just quickly go from A to B to C and every, every transition is smooth. In math the kids still do all their work in a notebook, uh, the actual problem solving, but then all of the access to the resources and, and to the activities and, and to the answer keys and um, to Khan Academy, which is all online. All of that is daily uh, through the internet. The other benefit is that it's, it's a very smooth transition from school to home because you know anything that doesn't get done in class and they need to, to finish at home, they just go, they go home, they access the Cambridge website, and, and everything's right there to kind of continue. Switching from paper to technology really has been a, a huge boost in how effective I'm able to be. Um, one of the biggest factors is efficiency. Uh, you know, I, I kind of compare it to, you know, could you get to the store on your bike or by walking? And yes, you could, and you would eventually get there, but it's much faster to hop in your car and, and be there in two minutes. So can you use paper and get to where you need to get? Absolutely. You know, the history of education has is, is functioned that way, but the technology tools now, with the internet kind of being the foundation, allow for just such a greater efficiency. Engagement is also a big factor. Uh, there, there are kids who are kind of naturally disengaged, naturally a bit uninterested. If you put a device in front of them with interactive things on it and engaging information on it, 99% of those kids will engage. And when they take ownership of their own website and when they have complete control of the information coming in and what they do with it, um, I've found that, that I spend very little time managing engagement, whereas when I was with paper, that was a big piece of what I was doing. So technology really allows kids to drive. You know, it allows them to be in complete control of going back and forth between, you know, this tab and this tab and this tab, accessing these answers, going to this simulation and looking for a, a digital representation. Our, our job as teachers, as educators, is to prepare students to be successful in whatever they do. And the reality is whether they, whether they go military or whether they go automotive or whether they go construction or whether they go uh, higher education, engineering, everything's gonna have a technological base now. So, so I think it's critically important that, that we provide them that foundation.